G'day, it's Mike here and I'm Sailing 52. I'm doing a series on the Dragon Force 65 and this is about where to put your that jib eyelet just there. I don't know whether you can see that, but that's that eyelet there. It's critical for um, setting up your downwind position. What I'm going to do is just show you my downwind settings. Um, so if you look there, you get a sort of a feel of that's running at about 90 degrees or thereabouts and this is running about 85 that's running at about 85 but if I put it on the out mode right right this goes out to about 95 right and this goes about to a bit bit over 85 okay so this is how you get the wing angle on your your sail um, so when you're sailing downwind in these super light conditions, that maximizes your wing on wing effect on your boat. Critical to that is where you put this little sheeting position. Because that, if it's in close, the jib boom goes further out. If it's further out here, the jib boom will come in closer. So it's about trial and error. Uh, a lot of variables which affect that is rake, um, your uh, jib boom position, your your uh, uh, your foot, uh, your topping lift. So all of those combined make a big difference. What I like to do is once I've set it up and I'm comfortable with it, I'll actually glue this um, little um, eyelet here because I don't want any variation uh, when I'm sailing. Uh, so that's about it. Um, we've got the beginners to master class so if you want more detail on my measurements and stuff like that please feel welcome to join our class and um, you can join by just emailing me on mjeffs333 at gmail.com mjeffs333 at gmail.com I look forward to seeing you on the water bye for now